thought we would do a program real quick on baby birds and the kind of the do's and don'ts of baby birds maybe be a better title for it so um, if you've ever called me during the nesting season with a lot of bird questions in the nature center world and I was there for years and here at the store for the past 17 years you know my rule of thumb is let nature take its course that is it, it sounds so cold-hearted and there's a lot of people who do not like that answer when you're talking about baby animals especially baby birds but it is true if you find a baby bird um, really the 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 best course of action is let nature take its course and that and that's because the mom and dad are usually still there they're still taking care of the baby um, if the baby can uh, just get a couple more days or maybe even just a few more bugs in it it's probably going to make it now of course the danger for a baby bird that's fallen out of the nest would be cats and dogs and and other predators that may be down there and that is when uh, the, 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 where the real danger lies um, lawn mowers as well but um, he, he, well, let's dispel one of the old wives tales right now I can't pick up that baby bird and put it back in the nest because the mom won't take care of it absolutely false I've done, done this many times I'm just reiterating it here that is a, not to revert the smell is a very poorly developed sense in birds anyways but I've done it personally I picked up a baby chickadee one day uh, set it up on a limb and before I could almost get my hand away from the baby the mom chickadee landed there and stuffed a bug in his mouth she was sitting there waiting for me to move on and she'd have landed there on the ground and stuffed that worm in that baby's mouth and, and probably that baby's just a few bugs away from being able to fly so um, that, that's a lot going on here and unfortunately people pick baby birds up put them in a box bring them inside uh, keep them inside and they finally call somebody and by that time the mom who's, who's gotten frustrated she's looked for a baby she can't find it and if they keep it too long then she's moved on unfortunately so if you can leave that baby out there if you can get it back up in the nest and chances are it's going to bounce right out again if it's that got that much energy and it's that far along um, but you don't have to worry about the mom not taking care of it certainly she will if you do touch it so um, let, let nature take its course let those babies go through their actions so uh, another good question right now that we're talking about a beautiful shot here by the way of the female cardinal on the nest um, are uh, a good shot of the, the pair of cardinals feeding the babies together it's a wonderful shot there um, the um, getting a lot of questions about bluebirds and this ah, come back down this is a baby bluebird you see the, you see the spots on the chest and on the back um, that when a, a, a baby a bluebird is old enough to fly for the first time they want as much camouflage as possible so they're not the beautiful blue and the red of the males they're they're, they're it, they do blend in a lot better but this is a baby bluebird we're seeing them right now uh, we're seeing the moms uh, and dads feed them that goes on for a couple of weeks after they leave the nest but remember bluebirds are just finishing their first nesting cycle and they're going to be looking to nest again right away so uh, give them a couple of weeks of their babies training them and then they're going to go right back and look at your nest boxes again so get those nest boxes cleaned out if you didn't have them nesting like the first cycle like i did i didn't have them in the first cycle but i've already seen the male sitting on my box here and so hopefully they're going to choose my nest box for the second cycle so i want to make sure that box is cleaned out and ready for those those bluebirds to build another nest and then they'll do a third nest in august and i've even seen them do a fourth nest if we had a really mild fall so uh, remember get those nests cleaned out because you'll just build a new nest on top of the old one so um, bluebird landlords be alert and be ready um, and then here's a great shot of come on in focus there you go uh, an oriole feeding its babies. This is an example of a bird that only nests once. Bluebirds nest up to three times, uh, you know, a house wrens a couple of times, but Baltimore Orioles are only here for a fairly short period of time. And they're, they're right now, they're, uh, she's probably incubating right now, but they're in the nesting cycle. Um, you're not usually seeing them on your jelly very much right now because they're so occupied with, with um, e eating insects and feeding insects to their babies and to their mate um, during this period of time. But as soon as they hatch, and remember most songbirds, it's two weeks incubating and then two weeks raising the babies before they leave the nest. So in that, in that time frame, uh, they're really, really heavily eating insects. But they'll bring those baby Orioles in and teach them uh, about the free jelly. And if you can see the jelly in the mouth of the male there, 
and he's going to feed it to the baby and teach them where that jelly is. And then they'll start leaving uh, early to mid-July. Uh, the Orioles will start leaving out of here. So um, some baby bird do's and don'ts. Again, uh, be a good landlord. Uh, and try to, you know, do your best. And call us if you have any questions. That's always a great theory. Um, the Lakeside Nature Center in, in Danaswa Park, fantastic animal rehabilitation facility. Great for answering questions if you've got an injured bird or uh, if you think a bird's been abandoned, they're, they're great to talk to down there. They'll, they'll lead you through what you should be doing. So um, thanks for the idea for the question. Uh, the, the topic today, send in more ideas. We need those. And they uh, and give us a like. Give us a share. Uh, if you would, take time. Give us a, a good review on Google or Facebook. Those all help us out a lot. So until then, come by. Let's talk birds.